Until late in the 20th century, the only people to ever observe the butterfly's arrival in Mexico were the farmers and miners who lived and worked in these volcanic mountains. Then on January 2nd, 1975, in a forest 70 miles west of Mexico City, a spectacular discovery opened the door for the rest of the world. of monarch butterflies had gathered in a forest of Oyamel firs 10,000 feet above sea level. Frederick Urquhart, a Canadian biologist who devoted his career to the search for this colony, described it as a glorious, incredible place where butterflies swirl through the air like autumn leaves shimmering against the mountain sky and drifting across our vision in a blizzard of orange and black. Science now glimpsed the true magnitude of the Eastern Monarch's migration. One of the really remarkable things about this migration is that all of these individuals have never made the trip before. It was their grandparents or great-grandparents two, three, four generations ago. They have no leader who has made the trip before, unlike hooping cranes or sandhill cranes. They don't have an older, experienced adult to take the lead and show them where to go, where to stop at night. But in the end, it ends up on the very same trees, same area, same slope of the mountain that its parents and grandparents left from the previous year. 